Hello, my soccer universe. Well, after all, I did watch soccer over NFL, at least for the second portion. For the first portion, yes, I started watching at 7, where some games were underway. I chose to have on the second screen Georgia versus Denmark, as we will see, was not the right choice. But then I watched uh, Italy at Finland and the Sweden-Denmark clash, which are uh, also not Sweden-Denmark, Sweden-Norway clash which also is quite interesting. Note, I watched four Nordic nations, um, which I think is the most uh, curious thing about them all. Let's run through the groups. We have groups D, F and J. In group D, we had uh, actually only two early games. Um, as I said, Georgia, Denmark, I thought there's an upset in there. There was an upset in there. It was kind of this day today, uh, yesterday, it was a little bit the a mutiny of the minnows. Um, getting quite a few minor, some bigger upsets, upsets. And Georgia held out to a nil-nil draw against Denmark. I mean, Denmark didn't show much, and neither did Georgia. And yeah, I think at the end they had a free kick that could, could, could have made it. It ends nil-nil. And the other sense, with Switzerland against Gibraltar, yeah, took a little while, but then in short succession, there were three goals just before the half. Zakaria, Mehmedi, and Rodriguez, 37th. 43rd and then in stoppage time but then it took until the 87th until the next goal is scored Gavranovic makes it 4-0 um, Switzerland had 39 shots on goal so it was a little bit uh, a waste in the standings now the Denmark draw means drops point, uh, points dropped points dropped dropped points well either one works uh, for Denmark because so far uh, Ireland, Denmark and Switzerland have been quite on par with each other, drawing it, uh, drawing against each other and then winning the rest. Uh, so yeah, Switzerland has a game less, but if they win that, they are level on points with Ireland with 11, Denmark has 9. I wouldn't count Denmark out because Denmark has been beating Ireland quite regularly as of late, so let's see where this one goes. I still think Switzerland will be the one qualifying out of that one, then it's between Ireland and Denmark. Uh, note that Denmark and Switzerland have a playoff spot secured. Um, what's the next couple of games here? Yeah. Georgia, Ireland, Denmark, Switzerland. That's Denmark, Switzerland game. That's uh, gonna be a big one already. Let's go to Group F, um, where we almost had an upset. Malta holding out to Romania for a long, 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 long time. Um, even having a chance, even scoring a goal. Uh, late that would have been an equalizer, but was ruled out of rightly so for offside. Uh, Pushkash, uh, but not deep Pushkash, uh, gets the goal for Romania in the 47th to get a narrow 1 0 win. Actually, a win that was vital for Romania to stay in contention after this hard game against Spain. Spain quite easily over the Faroe Islands, uh, twice Rodrigo Moreno, twice Paco Alcacer. Uh, the Faroe had a chance. To score a goal, but was not to be. And in Sweden, Norway, I mean, it was all Sweden, to be honest. I mean, from what all the see, Sweden was attacking, had free kick uh, go wide, and you know, had, had some chances, but then a defensive error gave Norway a chance to uh, run a counter over Oedegaard. The ball goes to Johansson, and he slots it into the net, make it 1 0 at the half. And it was curious that Lars Lagerbeck, the former Swedish coach, and also Swede, how he was. Kind of sitting on this bench just smiling but not really uh, <laughs> celebrating. Sweden of course had to come back storming and uh, in the 60th uh, Forsberg uh, equalizes with, with a nice shot right into the corner. Um, but then seemingly both nations were happy with the draw. Uh, the draw that actually is a little bit of an advantage for Sweden since they in the head-to-head -head against Norway would hold the head-to-head 3-3-1-1. -head, but you know uh, I thought there would be more coming uh, but I still think that Sweden are the odds on favorites to um, go through in this group behind Spain. Spain 6 out of 6, I mean uh, flawless. Sweden 11 points, Romania 10 and Norway 9. I mean it seems to be a dogfight but I still believe that Sweden will do this. Um, Norway probably has a chance. I actually would rate Norway higher than Romania but you know, let's see where that one goes. And then finally we have group J with Italy and this is turning out to be a super interesting group. The game 
of the evening was not Finland-Italy, although it was not a bad game. The game of the evening was Armenia against Bosnia-Herzegovina, which ended at the same time as Georgia-Denmark. Yeah, I should have watched what the scores are uh, at the half. Uh, Mikitarian gave Armenia very early in the third minute, then Dzeko in the 13th almost got the equalizer. Um, and that's how it stood at halftime. Pretty open game. Uh, Mikitarian in the 66th gives Armenia the lead again. And note, Armenia had a pretty strong game against Italy. I mean, Italy, yes, is a bigger team and in, in the end broke them down, but uh, they were in there uh, for a while. Goyak in the 70th equalizes. So uh, it was really going back and forth. Armenia scores. Bosnia equalizes in the 77th, uh, and I have to read this name because I will not <laughs> make it. Hambar Zumayan uh, makes it 3 2. Uh, then there's a huge chance, um, I think, for Visca uh, to equalize, but it was not to be, and in the uh, stoppage time, Lanka even produces an own goal. It was kind of Unlike him in the shot, would have gone into goal and it was kind of a botched clearance that went off his foot. And Armenia wins 4 2 against Bosnia. Uh, and that was a Bosnian team that gave Italy and Turin a hell of a fight. So Bosnia is kind of shaky. Um, again, they have a playoff spot. But uh, they look a little bit in rare form. Rare form definitely also applies to Greece, who had chances against Liechtenstein. Um, I don't want to say chances galore, but they were the better team, but they're in such a dreadful situation. Mazuras gets them the 1-0, they cannot make the 2-0, and then Solanovic from a counter in the 85th makes it 1-1 for Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein, I always think, is of the smaller nations. Liechtenstein and the Faroe Islands, those are the ones that I actually think are much better organized than most of the rest, but you know. 1-1 one, one agrees, that's a big uh, result, but I think Liechtenstein always won once won, I think, four years ago at Greece, so it's not that it's uh, unheard of. But I have to say, Greece oh, does not look good. Really does not look good uh, for them. And then Finland, Italy. Finland started brightly, but, you know, um, especially Sensi then had good chances. And uh, after the first Sensi chance, uh, it was more or less Italy took over. Had quite a few chances uh, created, looked actually quite pleasing going forward, but uh, Finland was also very well or organized. It was actually a very interesting game. Not a great game, but a very interesting game to watch, uh, but it stays nil-nil at the half. Um, and then when you thought, you know, then Italy took a little bit easy and the game was kind of kind of asleep until Chiesa makes a nice cross in that brushes the head of a defender, falls to the head of uh, Immobile, who nets it in make it 1-0 for Italy in the 59th. And I thought, yeah, Italy's gonna play this home now, maybe make make him a second. Nope. Sensi, who I... <coughs> uh, who I really thought was a very active player, made a stupid mistake when Puki came in, in the box, he just felt him from behind, um, kind of... Uh, Clumsy tackle was a penalty for sure. Puki steps up, makes it 1 1. Okay, we take a draw. We take a draw. Uh, I think a draw would, would have suited both of them, although, you know, I think even if we draw Italy, would, would have been fine. And I actually get some liking out of Finland as of late. Um, but then a uh, shot goes to the arm of a Finnish defender, and one of those penalties. Yes, it's not even war, uh, but it was given. I can understand why the Finns were not happy with that one, because where should, should he put his arm? I mean, he's turning away and the arm goes... Yeah, under new rules, probably it's justified. I really don't like this penalty. Jorginho with the most stupid of runs. I hate his penalties. He runs in the mix. <laughs> I hate it, especially after what Sasa did. I showed it yesterday to, to, to my wife. She had, she, she had a laugh out of me complaining about... Uh, Jorginho, and then I showed her Zaza, and she was, <laughs> yeah, I think we all were laughing except me, because I really wanted them to beat Germany in penalties. Was not to be. Was not to be, it's also a thing that they couldn't find an equalizer. I think Italy then had, it was closer to Italy making it three than Finland making it uh, uh, two. But yeah, uh, Finland showed that they are a tough opponent, and if you look at the standings right now, uh, 
Finland has lost twice, but those two are against Italy. The rest, uh, they all won. So I actually would think Italy cruising. We will see it, 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 Italy next summer. And I think Italy, the longer they play, the better they get. Uh, Finland, um, yeah, I think they will be in there. I don't think that Armenia will catch them. I don't think Bosnia and surely not Greece and Liechtenstein. So that's uh, my few cents on what was happening yesterday. Um, today, the I know the two games that I'll be watching. I will put on the big screen uh, Poland versus Austria. Yeah, I'm Austrian. And I think the other interesting game, it's a tight rope. I think I will choose Northern Ireland and Germany, although there is also an interesting game between um, Hungary and Slovakia. That could also be an interesting one, but Slovakia is a little bit out, out, out of it. I choose Northern Ireland against Germany because Northern Ireland is so far perfect and Germany probably needs to bounce back. Uh, other interesting game you might think is Scotland against Belgium, although Scotland... They have a bigger name than they are. At 6 o'clock you can watch Azerbaijan against Croatia if you wish to do so. Well, Slovenia-Israel is also an interesting one because, you know, Slovenia had the win against um, Poland. So let's see whether Slovenia or Israel will pull through. Anyway, let me know what you saw yesterday, whether you agree with my assessment of these games. I watched all the highlights this time. Uh, drop a comment below for that. Um, let me know what you want to watch this evening. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, more roundups. I probably will do another collection video on my other Italy jersey that's hanging back there uh, in the afternoon or tomorrow and I will see you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye!